Hello everyone, I'm in Weatherspoons in Bradford and I've met this lovely gentleman. His name is Donald. Can you believe that he is 90 years old? 90 years old and remembers everything about the Second World War. So, D Donald, can you please uh, like explain like, about the outbreak of war? Yes, in 1939. I remember it. And what happened on that day? I remember the day that the war broke out, that, that, that particular day, and I was, uh, I, was, I was at home, but my, my, my dad had gone out to the pub for a drink and so on, you know. And, I, I, and my mother, the tears were, were dropping, dropping down her eyes because she'd experienced the first war. So then, what did you do that day? Sorry? What did you do on the day of the outbreak of war? Were you scared? No, I wouldn't say you were scared. Uh, but, but, uh, a sort of shock. We, 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 you see, the point is that you had this inner thing. Yeah. We will, we will beat them. They won't do it. We will beat them. A strong feeling. It's not right. I was all what, nine years old. So were you evacuated? No, no, no. We got a no bombing in Queensland. <laughs> what the hell? They only just discovered the, 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 the six horses and two, two carriers. So did you like listen to Churchill on the radio? Oh yes, I, a great man. I like Winston. Winston is a great, a great man. No, make no mistake about it. So when, when, like, when did you realise that the war was turning? At what point did you think, we're going to win this? Well, I, I, I think, I think, don't, don't remember, you've got to remember, I was nine years old. Right. And, and we didn't believe that we could be beat. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a wonder we we'll work because nobody ever came over. You know, there, was, there wasn't an attempt. France had been taken over, Germany, the, the, the Germans had taken over, you know, Germany and its own. And they, there was a fear in, in the part of the world of, the, of them coming over after that's only 20 miles across. Of course. So, can you explain to everybody watching how did you feel when it was actually declared that the war was over? It was a relief. It was a relief when the war was over. Yeah. Did you party in the street? Sorry? Did you party in the street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That did happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so after the war finished, you went into the textile industry? You're 15 and you Queensbury, were. Black Dyke Mills at Queensbury. And you were there for how many years? Uh, I was there for, for a few years when I got a bit. What, what was a better job in the textiles? But it was just. I, I was in the office. Yeah, I was in the office at Queensbury. I was in the office boy. When I moved, I moved, we moved further away from the, the, the centre. And so, like, you've obviously, how long have you been retired now? How long have you? How long have you been retired now? Since I was... Uh, Say so 17 years you've been retired? No, no, no. Can't be right. <laughs> oh, it's okay, don't oh, worry. I was retired when I was about uh, 85 to 90. Okay, so you've been, you've been retired, but you're enjoying, right? This is the, Donald has got, you've got one son who lives in London, don't you? Yeah. Do you see him often? Not very often, not very often, no. But, you know, there's no heart feeling. Uh -oh. 
he lived his life and we live ours. But uh, you know, we were friendly. Yeah. He's, he's, he's down there and he, occasionally when he comes up, but not. Well, Donald, I just have to say that, that meeting you today has been the highlight of coming up to West Yorkshire. So, what are you drinking, think, sir? What are you drinking, sir? I think, I think you're overdoing it. Estimating me. No, come on. You, you are a lovely, lovely chap. Now, what are you drinking? What is that? Because I'm going to buy you one. A half a kroner. No, not a half. I'm getting you a pint. <laughs> Love you, Daniel. All right. Thanks for watching. This guy is an absolute legend.